A digital image file stores the color information for each pixel with three numbers for the intensity of red, green, and blue. An image histogram displays how many of the pixels have each possible value. The y-axis is frequency, how many pixels have each value, and the x-axis is the value. In regular 8-bit JPEG images, these values are between 0 and 255. 0 is no color, and 255 is maximum brightness. The data for each color is called a channel, and can be manipulated separately or with the other channels. For example, when you make an image darker, the histogram for each color slides to the left. An average pixel will then have a lower value for each color, but in a similar proportion to the other colors. Making a photo brighter gives an average pixel a higher value for each color, so all three histograms slide to the right. You can make the colors more intense by increasing saturation, which separates the three histograms. As saturation decreases and color is removed from the image, the three histograms converge because in a grayscale image, each pixel has exactly the same value for each color. Adjusting color temperature can make the colors warmer by increasing the red and green values compared to blue. To make the colors cooler, the blue channel is slid to the right relative to the red and green. A pink or green tint can be added to an image by adjusting the green channel independently from the red and blue channels. OK. Here are two photos taken by the same infrared camera, with the infrared block filter replaced with a Rattan 87 filter, which passes only infrared light. On the left, the white balance setting was the camera's cloudy preset, and on the right, a custom white balance was done. In this pure infrared camera, a custom white balance removes all color by giving each pixel the same value in each channel, and the three histograms are almost identical. The three channels can still be manipulated. However, the temperature slider will not restore the particular magenta tinge to the image. That requires a lot of manipulation, which I'm going to do here. To make an NDVI image from a normal and infrared photo, usually one channel from the infrared photo is used. An important question is, which channel to use? And should you do a custom white balance before the photos are taken? If the three histograms are not identical, the values in the three channels will differ, and the resulting NDVI values will differ, depending on which channel is used. Here, I'm starting with a photo that was pinkish because a custom white balance was not done. The temperature slider does not allow you to remove all the color as a custom white balance does. I don't really know how a custom white balance does that, but it's easy to replicate the effect by desaturating the image. It's probably not possible to know which channels or which white balancing procedure will produce the most correct NDVI values, but either doing a custom white balance beforehand or else taking the average of the three channels might be the most consistent protocol. Now, how about single camera NDVI or infrablue photos? Here are two infrablue photos of grass taken by infrared sensitive cameras. On the left, the camera had a shot BG3 filter, and on the right, a Roscoe 2007 filter. The duller Roscoe photo has less separation among the three color channels. This is relevant because NDVI is computed for each pixel of infrablue photos based on the difference between the values in the red and blue channels. So we would expect these two photos will produce different NDVI values. And they do. The greater separation of the red and blue channels in the shot image translates to higher NDVI values, with colors more toward the red end. We can adjust the temperature and exposure of the Roscoe image so that the histograms more closely resemble the shot image and the NDVI values become more similar. The goal here is not to emulate the shot filter. The point is that the form of the infrablue image histogram directly affects the resulting NDVI values, and it's important to be aware of how our actions alter that histogram.